everyone how are you doing guys welcome back to another sunday video with me editing mm -mm -mm -mm. what a classical move i forgot to introduce myself my name is anetta i'm a photographer graphic designer based in melbourne australia cheers last week i did this video with a displace option on photoshop and then i had an idea to do another video incorporating the illustrator and doing a blending thing well i'm just gonna i'm gonna do it because i don't know how to explain it and i'm gonna explain it as we go and you'll see what it's gonna be about should i like talk about something with you before we start oh my god yes actually <laughs> i been working all August on my website. It took me a while to make it. I thought it was gonna be easy. I thought you're gonna go, you know, put things and it's gonna be done. But then it took me a while, a while to understand how to like categorize things. And I asked my friend and then by writing a new bio for my website and like selecting the clients that I want to show and everything. But I'm so happy to finally have a website that I love genuinely, that it's not just the cheap Squarespace. <laughs> Squarespace will never sponsor my video because I don't like them. That's how I'll say. The website builder is not great. Use cargo site. And this is not a sponsored video, but cargo site is the best. Like the best that I ever tried. I tried Wix, I tried Squarespace, I tried Format, and I tried Cargo. So cargo is the best in all the ways. Go check out my website and let's get into the video. I was thinking, use a displacement, but displace, make the displacement map on Illustrator. And what I'm gonna do is to make this like weird form. I usually do whatever. I'll lock it in and then do another one. Then unlock all, select both, remove the background color and do object, blend and blend options first. 100 steps cool and then option command b you get this thing it's not perfect at the moment but we're gonna fix it i need to select one and we select one yes thank you fucking hell it's really hard to select them separately you need to go into the blending mode like you see okay we can spin them oh yeah this is good i don't like when they break a little bit like here you see i don't like that but it's not gonna be visible that much then we're gonna go to this photoshop we're gonna upload it in the photoshop let's make this one yep just drag it in now i save this one and i save it as a displacement map then go here we select an image that we want to work with Then we go into filter, distort displays. This is the magic. Now we're gonna edit on it. I might actually do one thing. Do this, turn off this one and change the blending mode. Kinda looks funky. Now let's go for selective colors and switch things up. I enjoy green for yellow, like this. I enjoy getting rid of reds usually. Orange is quite nice. Yeah, let's get some pinks in here. I don't really like how the displacement map did this arm. Maybe I should remove it. I'm just gonna leave it for now, but I don't like it. <laughs> it does remind me of something again. Mm. 
when this happens, when this like glitch happens, I'm just like, whoa, wait, what? Like I kind of want to leave it like this because it's so bizarre. But we're not gonna do it. <laughs> Yeah, red. Well, we came back for red. That is alright. Oh yes, I like this one. Wait, is it Pulp Fiction? No. Mmm, <gasps> that French movie. Yeah, this one. That's what it reminds me of. But this reminds something else as well. What if we would change the situation? Just like, BAM! Different mood different vibes it kind of could be as a punk poster i could see that if i would only know how to apply types and make it as a poster i really like this one. Oh, holy oh my god oh my god that kind of sick When I was defining my style, I was always seeking for everything looking very artificial because I think I couldn't make it look natural. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do the opposite way. Can I listen to Chemical Brothers for a brief second? this kind of matrix 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 looking thingy i felt like it needed something like some lettery detail no i'm not a big fan of the red i think don't be afraid to add up colors after colors i guess that gives even more of the effect that it's like old and grainy grungy that's how you call it the more you change and change, the more it's kind of just like distort. Useful. For me, everything is a little bit like that, a little bit like this, a little bit like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep, 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 yep. She came back. <laughs> we brought her colors back. Okay, so the last thing that I really wanted to do was to add a paper texture over it. Some of those, like this one, is so subtle, so you can't really see things. Do you think that it's missing something? <laughs> Maybe it's gonna be it. I'm gonna show you how it was before and after. Before and after. Before and after. Sick. Yeah, that's that's it. Follow me on Instagram. I upload a lot of similar stuff. And subscribe my channel if you'd wish. Like this video if you liked it. If you learned something and always experiment and try new things never assume that you know everything because then you'll stop learning and everything takes time so enjoy the process enjoy doing what you do did i tell you my name and what i do i don't know i forget to make intros i really love you all 
and see you next week and send me your designs if you do something i really love seeing those bye, bye.